Wagwan people ya Danu say shut up boy once again kwenye dimba na doba. Big up kila mtu aliwatch episode 1. Nilipenda hiyo vile mlijituma na hapo kwenye comments mkasema tafadhali ongelea Mario Balotelli. Mimi am wondering why? Why do you want? Ni nini amjui kuhusu Balotelli? But because nyinyi ndio kusema let's do it. Unajua watu wengi wanasema anga Balotelli is a failed wonder kid. He is the biggest failure kwa football world. But what you say my believe how ajui kwa nini unasema hivyo. Hata Bible nasema anga my people shall perish for the lack of knowledge. Watu wangea bila knowledge ya Balotelli. So let's talk about Balotelli. No more understand why things happened the way they did. So Balotelli alizaliwa Italy, place ita kwa Palermo, 12th August 1990. All right? Alikuwa second born kwa wako wote wanne. Buda yake anaitwa Bauwa. Wazazi wake ni Wagana but walikuwa wanafanya kazi za missionary huko Italy. So si wakapata kijana akiwa huko. At the age kutoka Balolo Teli azaliwe alikuwa mgonjwa, alikuwa na complication kwa industries zenye madoko alikuwa anasema zitamuua akiwa mtu hii. It was very expensive kutritiwa na kama mazazi wake juu alikuwa pua hakuwa na hiyo do they felt he would die. So what did his parents do? Wakaamua kumpeana wakamgive up for adoption. Ndio maybe wale watamchukua wa mtibu. Unaona? Akapeanwa kwa familia inaitwa The Balotelis. Unaelewa? So hiyo jina Balotelli kwa gi wazazi wake eh, wenye walimzaa biological parents, it's their uh, adoptive parents. So jina yake ikakuwa Mario Balotelli Bawa. Akiishi na hawa wazazi wake wa adopt alikuwa gana letwa go home weekend anaona ma brother zake sister zake anaona wazazi wake anarudishwa until at some point kwa sana aje si tunaishi na huku jana kabi? kabisa. At the age of around 10 kutoka tu azaliwa Balotelli alikuwa anapenda ball sana. Hata akiwa mgonjwa bado walikuwa wanasema kama kitu kilikuwa kinamfanya akaya live ni ball. So huo budaki huo Balotelli akampeleka kwa academy ya timu inaitwa Lumizane huko tu Italy. FC Lumizane. Kijana at the age of 10 alikuwa mnuma anacheza ball. Saa akifika 15 years. Siku moja akiwa tuko hiyo academy ya Lumizane akicheza na watu hii hapo coach wa senior team ya Lumizane akamkumu watch hey, akaangalia akasema huu mse anafaa kuanacheza senior team yangu na ninamchukua this one is going to play for the senior team eh hey, huyo coach wa academy akamwambia wewe huu ni mtu hii it is not legally possible atuwezi mpeleka kwa senior team ah akasema bana wewe tuongee na gava tupeleke kwa kijana juni mnoma that is how great talent ya Balotelli ilikuwa inakaa at the age of 14 eh anyway, fast forward akaanza kucheza Lumizane alafu akaenda trials Barcelona inasemekana ngalu mizana walitisha Barcelona do mingi sana ya contract ya mtu ya 15 years so Barcelona did not pay up ikabidi kijana merudi mizane which was still a good thing bilali rudi huko Inter Milan ikaamua kijana we need him at the age of 16 Inter Milan ika sign Mario Balotelli unafikiria huko kijana alikuwa mnoma aje akitan 17 years alikuwa ameanza kuchezea first team ya Inter Milan hiyo first team ya Inter Milan he ilikuwa na figo ilikuwa na Zlatan ili kuwa na wazito ile team lakini bado kijana ametoshea ameanza kupiga ameanza kupiga first level na hiyo team unaona fast forward akicheza hapo akashaini wakashia kwashinda treble wakashinda vikombe ma, i think mara tatu vikombe eh, za Syria wakashinda Champions League in fact alifunga bao ya Champions League akiwa 17 years at that time he became the youngest player to score in a Champions League game Alright. So bila alikuwa na ngara hivyo, so amepiga kama miaka tatu from 17 to 20. Roberto Mancini alikuwa sasa amekuwa coach wa Man City. Akaona opportunity. I need to bring this boy. Because at that time alikuwa anasema this is the golden boy of football. But akiwa huko kuna kitu kilikuwa na happen. My fans walikuwa wanatoka na huko jana. Hata jafika 18 years. But racism in football ilikuwa ingewaipe wajina ingeitwa Balotelli. Watu walikuwa in fact my fans wa Inter Milan walikuwa so racist against this boy had for example Inter Milan ikicheza na Juventus my fans wa Inter wanatoka na Balotelli na ni player wao akakaa akaona wase hawa mimi ndo mnatoka na hivi okay haina shida siku moja akaenda interview kama amevaa jersey ya AC Milan unaweza imagine <laughs> in letter vita inakaja Italy the biggest rivals ile derby upigwe huko inakuwa ni kama watu wanaweza dead ni kati ya Inter Milan na AC Milan sasa kijana alitokea kwa interview na jezi ya AC Milan iko na mpaka jina yake na namba 
eh, 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 eh. Anyway, kakuwa sasa huyu hawezi ishi Italy anymore. He just needs to go. Akaenda Man City. Kufika Man City kwa debut yake akafunga bao. Sasa kwa 20 years. Akaanza kushine Man City lakini nayo press ya huko maju ni nani? Wakaamua kijana tuta deal na yeye. Hawataki ya shine. Ako na attitude. So stories kanza kuandikwa za uongo. Kama kuna time bado tena nasema ngali kuwa ayuko mtaani hao yake ikaaka moto bathroom the following day kwa gazeti wanasema Balotelli alikuwa analipua ma, ma fireworks kwa bathroom yake ati Balotelli alitoka ameenda kubaye pasi amerudi mpaka na nduthi home like they painted a very negative picture of Balotelli a very responsible boy na ujua kwa 20 years but still alikuwa akinja kwa grao ana prove akinja kwa grao ana prove kuna picha yake moja ile trend sana alifunga ngabao against Manchester United akainua t-shirt hivi ilikuwa imeandikwa why always me alienda kwa Kitman wa Man City akamwambia mazee watu wananiongea ngavi baya sana watu nitengenezee ma story kwa nini nataka tuachant pomsi akambia ni sawa wacha tuandikie why always me so wala hujui understand that is why after alifunga hiyo bao alinua hiyo nguo alikuwa anauliza kwa nini mnanionea why do you write things about me unaona Anyway, akiwa Man City kitu watu kumbukia Man City ikishinda Premier League after 42 years of waiting watu nakumbuka Gagwero akifunga bao unaona hakuna mtu kumbuka nani alipatia Gagwero hiyo assist hiyo assist ilitoka kwa Balotelli but people will never let you see that or remember that you know so akiwa okay, Man City ikakuwa ni aje it to go to a point yeye yeah, na Man City wako waelewani kabisa kwanza kuna time walikuwa wanacheza pre-season eh huko US eh bola imepigwa Balotelli akaenda kujaribu vitu zake hapo jua alikuwa kama crazy he like trying new things ah akapiga bola na kisigino ikatoka akapigwa sub immediately watu wakaanza kutrendisha hiyo video but yeye yeah, akiulizwa anasema galisikia firimbi which is ni mafans walikuwa na blow firimbi aka feel ah maybe alikuwa off unaona eh sasa kwa kuwa misunderstood ya kwa niaje wewe hapa uwezi rudi tu home anarudi wapi AC Milan Unaona ameenda kwa rivals wa nani? Wa Inter. Hey, ile racism sasa ikawekwa times 4. Nakwambia magazeti zilikuwa zinachora picha ya Balotelli akikaa manki na waogopi. Unaona eh? Awaogopi wanachora picha yake akiwa juu ya building, ameshikilia building hivi anakaa kama manki. Wanaandika racism in Italy and football against Balotelli was okayed by almost everyone. Including ba kuna time deputy pres- assistant president wa team ali support watu wenyewe wana, wana utukana uke jana rafila alikuwa anafilaje one day akaulizwa hizi ngori za racism mnaonaje akasema pale imefika sasa hii mimi haini boingi haini boingi ni sawa tu mimi nacheza tu ball nyongeni but at some point it got to him kuna time kwanza italy ikicheza e, wakicheza euro alisema anga ile siku mtu anatukana tena tutapata kwa streets na mtu anitaua mtu Alisa bali mefika I will just have to kill people before I forget point of the exit grabo likiendelea so fast forward amerudi eh, AC Milan ile racism haijaisha bado inaendelea huko AC Milan ame shine mba ana shine anagusa ball anagusa ball akiwa AC Liverpool ikasema we need this boy Let, let's bring him back to England wow the biggest mistake of his career the biggest failure yenye unaweza jitengenezea ama utengenezwe na watu ili hapo na hapo Balotelli kukuja Liverpool was yani it was actually at that time it was termed as the poorest signing as the most the any yani the failure of failures in terms of signings ju alikuja Liverpool akapata Rodgers Rodgers ndio coach Rodgers alikuwa ile watu na ukijana acheze ball block jana acheza ball ukijana time yote alikuwa lipa pole alifunga bao ine peke after a struggle mbaya eh ikakuwa huyu aizicheza wakamrudisha on loan wapi AC Milan akiwa AC Milan wakafuta eh Rogers wakaandika Klopp Klopp akipanga squad ya pre season aku include kijana akakuwa what is this what do i do my coach washa ni judge before hata wanione Jua nyaki ki kweli hizo racism kind level the boy had to grow a thick skin so vitu alikuwa na doze ilikuwa zinaka ah makocho wengi wana avoid wana avoid unaona so akakuwa loan imeisha as milan liverpool haimtaki what does he do 
akanafuta pale anaweza ndana hiyo time only 22 hata hajafika at his prime ya kutuonesha ball una get ikakuwa niaje sina team kuna team inaitwa OG Nice ama Nice iko huko France League 1 kamua niaje kama tucheze watu wanashangaa wewe unaenda Nice kufanya nini kariye imeisha at 22 you should be moving to big teams like Real Madrid akaenda huko France kuchezea Nice team ina suasua team iko kijana alifika huko Ali Shine Ali Shine amesukuma team mpaka imefika Champions League so mpaka team inafika Champions League anafunga alikuwa anafunga bao kila game alikuwa anacheza kapeleka team Champions League akiwa Nice new coach amekuja huko anaitwa <laughs> Viera kaza aliwa hivyo ijezi akaamua wewe no mimi siwezi kuwa na wewe na pale kwanza kwa interview alisema aliuliza kwa about Balotelli akasema sometimes Balotelli huongea nasikia ni mjiba ama ni mshike ni mpiganishe kuukuta so kile ninajua tu coach huyu anitaki fast forward since tatikani hapa akaenda Marseille huko Marseille pia akacheza ball vizuri sana vizuri tena sana akasaidia akasai team ikashine 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 sasa lakini sasa career yake imeanza ku, kwenda chini hakuna big a big team that wants him hakuna a big manager that wants to work with him agent that is na pia sasa tu career imeanza kuenda on the on the down low ita miote akicheza bola alipewa call up ya Italy akacheze euro kwenda kwa hiyo euro kijana kwa debut funga ba alisukuma team kwanza kuna time wakicheza na Germany semi final ya euro 20, 2012 semi final ya euro aliulizwa mbona celebrate you kifunga bao akasema ai si celebrating because ni kazi yangu wewe postman akileta barua kwa kwa nazaa ku celebrate <laughs> but kwa hiyo semi final against Germany akafunga bao mbili na kwa bao ya pili ali celebrate mbaya sana unaona alitoaga jezi akasema masha unaona hapo ndio ile picha yake anakuaga javaa shati ile picha ilitembea dunia mzima ilitoka hapo bila alitoa jezi akajikunja hivi ika trend eh yeah. but kwa finali we Spain kawaonesha maneno either way so pia for Italy alikuwa anajiprove pia akapata debut akacheza world cup doa kupita eh kuenda sana waka, wakatolewa akiwa na Italy so in short vile hiyo racism ilifikia Gabaloteli at some point ali, aliamwaga mimi sitawi tukana tena kwa grao what happens ni mkinitukana na exit grao na he true to his words mkianza kumtukana na exit grao and amoyo ball mimi sitacheza so he decided to stand against racism akaamua it won't be normal ref amepewa right ya ku stop game Bona was stopping game ni kitukanwa. Bona was stopping game watu kama kina Sterling wakitukanwa. Those are the questions I'll tell you to ask. But watu walikuwa wamepitari wamepaint you a very arrogant reckless boy. So they could never see the sense in him fighting racism that way. Kila mtu aka avoid Balotelli. Baada mwisho akaenda kucheza huko Monza, team iko sio division 2, huko Italy, bado ni kijana mdogo. Kariye kaenda tu hivyo, kariye Balotelli juu media iliamua ku paint a bad picture of him nobody gave him a second chance na akafika to point akaamua sawa let it be akaondokea limelight akaacha kucheza ball kwa hizi big careers mara ya mwisho ile kuna bao fulani yake ile trend alipiga hivi na ile alijikunja akaipiga alikuwa anasema ina ina discuss puskas ina deserve puskas award but it was not given the puskas award also anyway so a boy that people thought would be greater than ronaldo and messi kari yake kaenda hivyo ikaisha just because of racism and media deciding not to cover his side of the story akadisappear akaisha but a very promising career a very prolific striker that was Mario Balotelli unaona so lazima ujue kwa hii life vitu kama hizo zinaweza happen that story yako haikui told But that does not mean you should stop being who you are because Balotelli was a very generous human being. He used to give to charity so much. I believe he still does to date. No, ne? So because people decided to give a negative story of him, we are here and you are giving the positive side of him. Then one day what would I realize by the way this boy was wrongly judged. Unaza imagine una grow kwa foster family, unajua pale mabora wako, masister wako wako, wazazi wako walikupeana because wangi afford kukutibu 
unafile already yo mental state yake ilikuwaaje anakaa kwa grao anatukanwa daily but still anaamka anaenda kucheza ball at some point unaza mwa this thing that is making people not like me ama this thing that is making people abuse me i'd rather not do it but yeah kwa hiyo mwa hivyo he would wake up every day and go score goals for those fans that were abusing him unaza imagine italy au uh, kijana kwa mtukano mpaka for example game ya ya roma na juve inaendelea watu wanatoka na balotelli he is not in any of those teams he is not near that pitch but chance lazy mtoka za manki ile zimechorwa zile banana zinarushwa zinarushwa in the name of balotelli imagine how sad that situation was but anyway the boy stood his ground and he's still here today and he's still playing football so pia nataka ku challenge watu wanaweza kuwa ameongea vitu abnormal vitu 1 million about you those things should not break you grow a thick skin and grow an attitude and go out there and conquer balotelli has won the serie a trophy he has won the premier league with man city he has won the champions league with uh, inter milan so mtamwambia is conquered everything that is a challenge to you unajua kwa rege pia bob male alikuwaaga pointi na watu walikuwa nataka kupushia agenda yeye ni white sana and he refused it he called it racism alisema mimi i am a black man and you shall recognize me as so south africa apartheid kifanyika wale amjua apartheid south africa kulikuwaaga watu wana dividedwa na race nyinyi wa indi nyinyi wa zungu nyinyi wa afrika ilikuwa imeshika racism huko mbaya it was among the worst forms of racism that apartheid lucky dube stood against racism akaandika ngoma ila alikuwa anauliza watu everybody hates apartheid why do you like it ila we got to come together as one eh hey, you rasta man eh hey, you european we got to come together as one it was the first ever song that discussed racism and apartheid that was played on a national radio in South Africa okay so take something stand for it and be you sao hiyo ni story ya balotel unataka nani next hm hapa kwenye comments kama kuna best yako unajua watu waongea vitu mbaya kumhusu mtumie story and ya watch uone kama itamchange kama una feel like depressed jua watu wanamwongea sana mtumie hii mwambie bado balotel anaishi All right? More life thing. Next week, same place, same time. Shut the tiki taka everywhere. Oh.